down here and doing it for the weekend. Just camping with Ryan. That's Ryan's 120 series Prado. And here's our 120 series Prado. Just gonna do a quick video of it now. Starting at the front. It's got an ARB deluxe pull bar on it. It's a non-winch bar. Um, it's what I managed to get off Gumtree quite cheap and then I repowdered a coat of grey just to match the car. Um, I've got in the front here, I've changed the lights over to the steady LED fog lights and they've also got DRLs in them. And I've got the eBay LED lights as well to match the, the rest of the lights in the car. They're all that white light colour which looks quite good. Then I have yeah, these projector headlights that are also off eBay. Sorry about all the dew on them. Uh, they, I've got some halos in there. I really want them for the projector lenses though. So I've put some HIDs in them to try and make them a little bit better, but I'm not really that impressed with the light output. It's about the same as a standard headlight globe in the standard housings. I'm also tempted maybe just to put them back to factory, but let's see how we go. Nine inch bodies in the front. Again, eBay specials. They work great. Underneath here, I've got the 150 series Prado recovery points. I had to do 150 series because the 120 series don't fit with the ARB bull bar. Um, there is two bolts in there. I'll go on the other side, actually. So yeah, as you can tell, they bolt all up. The zip tie is just purely for this mud. Um, flat here for the engine bay, so don't worry about it. Bushkin's four-mil bash plates. I've got both plates, but I only put the front on. Um, I don't do anything serious, so it's more for touring. Uh, and then every now and then we go off the beaten track, so I don't really need anything too hard. But if we do go have a lot of fun, then I'll make sure I put the other bash plate in the back. Moving around the car, just a safari snorkel copy that's also off eBay. That's been on the car about four years, and it's still great and solid hasn't faded anything like that I've just replaced some of the screws of stainless ones up on top a Jarum roof rack that's an overlander rack and on the side of that I've got a BCF 2, two meter by 2.5 meter awning which is good when I'm just camping always put the swag under there keep the dew away got the Heyman Reese uh, tow bar on it Replace the factory cast one, which has a tendency to snap, especially if you're going to do recoveries off them and things. So, um, because it leaves a big hole in the bumper, sorry about all the mud, I uh, put the 150 series cover on. It's pretty good fit, it's a tiny bit pops out the top, but from a distance you can't really tell. Moving on to the wheels, tyres, and brakes, as well as suspension. I've got the FJ Cruiser wheels, these are the new models. The new model. Uh, they also bring the Hankook Dynapro ATMs and a 265717. And underneath, I've got the Bilstein Shockies King Heavy Duty Springs with a 2 inch lift. And on the brakes, I've upgraded them to slotted DBA rotors. And they're quite good for pulling it up using some Bindix 4x4 premium pads. Moving on to some of the electrics now. I've done the front, but I thought I'd mention the steady light bar on the roof. It's a single row. And I always put these camp lights around, which are pretty handy for at night when you're camping. Um, these in the back here can be switched down here. They also can come on with the reversing switch from the trigger from the automatic. And then I've also got awning right there. That's usually white, but it's default to the green. Rear view camera, that's just for backing up to trailers. It's really handy to line up the, the hitch. And on the back of the door here, I've also added another camera on the wheel carrier just to drill a hole in the back of the door for that, unfortunately, but you'll never see it. It's hidden behind the wheel. So I'm moving into the cab. Got a little light switches down here for uh, side lights. Just 
turn these on. Also got the light bar. Oh. See so yeah, light bar and spotties. Uh, what have we got over here? Over here I've got the switch that triggers the rear lights on the back of the rack for when it's right in reverse. As you can see there it's in reverse at the moment. Turn that off, rear lights turn off. Chuck it back in reverse, on we go. As you can tell. Uh, twin USB charger over there. That's hooked up to the um, secondary battery. And also those little prongs there are ready for a voltmeter that I've ordered on eBay that hasn't come yet. I've got a GME radio there. I can't remember the exact model. It's a radio. It works. JVC deck. It's been there a while. Uh, dash cameras front and rear. I've changed all the lights internally to LEDs. Just makes it look a bit newer. Uh, run a scan gauge. Turns on. It's going on. Yeah, so that's that's just a monitor so the ter temperature of the transmission. Ignore the average. I haven't reset the fuel. Dash cams front and rear. Not the front there. That's 1080p HD. It's a little Mobius camera. And then up the back here as well. Top of the door. That's recording all the time. The other thing we've done is bought these uh, sunshades off eBay. They're about five dollars delivered. They're magnetic and they're great because with the 20 grade tint on the windows we've got 3 and 20 grade all around and then these as well you pretty much can't see through it's great I'll give you a bit of example yeah it's pitch black so all the stuff in the back fridge etc don't need to worry too much because people can't even see it um we've also got the back doors here take you through the boot quickly yeah, I've got a Waco CF50 in there. Uh, it's actually, I've replaced all the electronics in it because it all shit itself. I bought off, um, bought off Gumtree pretty cheap because it wasn't working. Just replaced that, I'll put another video up for that. But yeah, just Anderson plug, got rid of that crappy Waco plug that always falls out. Anderson in the back there that runs the fridge. This CD plug, this is standard one, but it's been switched over to the AUX battery. Switch block for a, a switch to that light, rear lights, warning light, and fridge. Some of that shadow stuff like that. Running a little fuse block in the back here that does the rear lights and the roof, the warning light, and the fridge. So I've cut the compressor plug off uh, and used an Anderson plug on that, and as I said, I just plop that straight down here into there. Did plan on getting drawers, but we use a pram a lot, and yeah, we ended up just keeping it the way it is. Just tie the fridge down to the tie points in the boot. Yeah, so that's the rear end. Just do a quick video with the lights on at night. So these are front lights. Yeah, doesn't look great in the video, but you get the idea. And then go up top here. Got the side lights. Rear lights. Warning light, which can change color. And yeah, another side light there. So when the awning's packed up, you can still see. And light bar, spotties. Let's turn that on. Into the engine bay now. As I said, standard D4D Toyota engine. I haven't tuned this, I haven't done anything silly with it, they don't like it. So I've only just done the injectors in there. That was a quite expensive experience. About three grand to get done. Um, here we go with the secondary battery. This is a Delcor 100 amp hour deep cycle. Um, I've got all my circuits there, so there's Circuit breakers for the DC-DC projector charger back there. 
and also to the all those fuse boxes internally I showed you. Over here, this was quite difficult to mount, but I've made it squeeze in there, made a little bracket so it can be mounted down next to the ABS module there, and it just clears the bonnet strut. Solar Anderson plug there for the blanket, and a heap of earths. Everything's been earthed a lot. Cranking battery is also a Delcor, it's a 750 cranking amp. Um, same deal with the back here, a few breakers for the brake controller and the Anderson plug on the rear. And then a breaker for the DC-DC over there. The other mod I've done is the air conditioning fan. So on the GXL from up to I believe 2007, it didn't come with this fan, only the Grande. So you can buy these off eBay for around, I managed to score this about 50 bucks delivered. So they range up to $150. You could put a standard thermo on there, but I just like the fact it's bolted straight on. Um, under this cap here, you need to jump two pins. There's some tutorials on the internet. I'll try and find the link and put it in the description. And then it just plugs straight in for this plug down the back here. 